This is a, a new project to uh, allow us to move the boat, the inflatable boat, from the campground to surrounding lakes. As you can see, we have the big trailer and the boat is stored in the trailer and we're hoping to be able to take this trailer that was designed to be uh, taken apart and to hang parts off the bumper in the back to allow us to have the freedom of moving the inflatable around if you're a week or 10 days in one particular place. That's the, it uh, the suspension system is a torsion system that is uh, designed uh, to carry 550 pounds. So I figure that the inflatable with the floor in it and uh, the motor on it is going to come out to about 300 pounds. And the trailer itself probably weighs a good 100 pounds. So the uh, weight distribution should be just perfect. That remains to be seen, obviously. So uh, this is it, finished. Uh, well, the frame anyways. With a 14 foot tongue. The inflatable is uh, 12 feet long. Um, I think that uh, from experience inflatables uh, weight is all at the back of the boat especially when the motors on it so I find that uh, you're going to want to have the most uh, support possible at, at that particular place and uh, so tomorrow's uh, challenge will be to look at how I will put the uh, sliders on so that the uh, boat can sit safely off of the uh, frame and the screws in that uh, so uh, tomorrow we'll look at that when we left off the last time the uh, frame was complete and we were starting to think about how to put the wood onto the frame uh, the boat is 12 feet long so the boards are 12 feet uh, but I don't think they're going to need to be that long so I'm going to put the middle one on first and uh, not cut it uh, I'm going to put the boat up and uh, see how everything fits before finalizing the uh, the, the design another day begins uh, the trailer is now being fitted for the boat as you can see to know how to position the boat on the trailer so that there's uh, enough tongue left to maneuver and that the uh, pontoons sit correctly on the boards. You want to have the, uh, the boards right underneath the pontoon as much as possible. So on this side I have to move that one over about four inches and I guesstimated that by the time you put the motor on uh, where you want that sitting is as close to uh, the axle as possible so that most of the weight rides on the axle and uh, as little weight as possible is on the tongue piece because the tongue piece is two by two one eight steel so you don't want to put too much pressure on that so we'll see what the whole thing looks like once we uh, finalize the fitting so the project is now complete um, I did have to take the lights off uh, the back to be able to paint the uh, steel angle iron so those will have to be put back on uh, shortly. I, I want to give another coat to that uh, because it was raw steel and uh, will rot or rust very quickly. So same, same goes for the uh, stainless plates that were uh, 
used to mount the uh, torsion axles uh, onto the uh, two by two tubing. So everything that was raw steel has been uh, painted that is not obviously galvanized. So uh, this is a final uh, way that the wood was cut so that uh, it doesn't interfere too much with uh, turning and uh, walking around the boat and uh, so the boat sits pretty much on those wood pieces and uh, the uh, keel is inflatable so it's deflated at this time and with it deflated uh, the whole boat sits very nicely on the trailer as you can see I've added uh, a galvanized uh, tongue piece um, put the chains uh, connected the wiring added hubcaps or not hubcaps but wheel guards for the uh, for the wheel so that we don't mess up the boat and uh, all in all it's a pretty lightweight trailer since it was built using 2x2 1 8 uh, steel tubing. Uh, it was reinforced with angle iron in critical places, uh, namely where the uh, tongue attaches to the rear axle. Uh, all of that was beefed up with some uh, 1 8 angle iron. And also where the tongue joint is, which you can't see, uh, the span was a little bit too great for uh, that size of tubing so what we did there is we reinforced it with a couple of u-bolts and uh, some uh, extra tubing on either side just so that the cross member once it got bolted in uh, made everything real sturdy so that's pretty much it for this project and uh, I figured the trailer weighs in at about 175 pounds. So uh, as far as being uh, collapsible and allowing us to mount it on the trailer, uh, this is all uh, uh, still possible. It's still possible. Uh, but we are considering uh, putting an extra hitch on the back of the trailer and running with the uh, the truck, the trailer, and the boat behind it. Uh, you see that frequently here in uh, Quebec. Uh, there are some restrictions in Ontario, but I mean, mainly uh, the fishing we do is in Quebec and Ontario, so uh, we should be okay with that.